Hi guys, today we'll announce the winner of our latest competition, Monocompe. I just wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone who entered. We were all so impressed, not only by the number of entries we received, but more importantly, the effort that every one of you went to. Before I get into announcing the winner, I have another announcement. Please welcome this incredible range of paints that we have been lucky enough to source. These paints are amazing. They come all the way from Spain, from a company called Montana Paints, now MTN. Originally developed for graffiti art, we have discovered they are better for finishing 3D models than any other paints we've tested. Check this out, a grey primer filler. We don't all hate the annoying build lines on these FDM prints. All you need to do is give it a couple of coats of this and a sand and then paint it. You want, what, a rust effect? You can have a rust effect or you might need heat resistant paint. We've also got this amazing granite effect paint. Now the clever thing they've done here is they've put on the effect on the caps here just below the spray nozzle. You can see what the effect's gonna be. So all this stuff's on our website. You can check out the whole range. We have metallic paint. They have a whole range of colors of these. Green, black, gold, silver, glow in the dark paint, that's incredible. Also, paint stripper. If you made a mistake, don't worry, just hit it with some paint stripper. These guys have thought of everything. White base primer, another really good primer. Will stick to anything and anything will stick to it. So that's really, really good product. A glitter varnish, again, you can check out the, the cap there to see what that's gonna look like. Stainless steel paint, need a stainless steel finish? No problem. Paint it with this. Now this is one of my favorites, plastic primer. If you've ever had issues like I have, trying to get paint to stick to PETG, ABS, or any other types of plastic, this will stick to anything, and then anything will stick to it. And it's absolutely perfect for what we're doing here with 3D printing. So this, and any of these water-based paints, or any of these effects paints, or glow in the dark or anything, is gonna work with your 3D prints. Let's talk now about the refills. Now, they've thought of everything, these guys. So this is a water-based paint, and it's actually exactly the right viscosity, so the right thickness. It doesn't need any thinning to go straight into your airbrush. Just squeeze it in. There's 200 mils in there, and you'll be amazed when you go on the website and you check out the price of these. These are really good quality. There's really pigment dense. Okay, it comes with a ball inside, so you can shake up the pigments. It's very, very fine pigments. It's not gonna give, give you any sort of clogging. I've been playing around a lot with these guys and I'm really excited. I'm no uh, expert, as you know. I'm definitely a hack, but check this out. Printed one of these Terminator uh, pencil holder things and this is the one that I painted. As you know, I'm not a professional at all, but hey, wouldn't you prefer to have that on your desk? than that, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. But also it was fun, I actually really enjoyed doing it. Not only do these go into the airbrush, but how cool is this, MTN have these empty markers. We also sell these. All you do is you unscrew the base, you take that section out, and then you just fill it up with the paint. Just go straight in there, no thinning, no nothing, and then you put the nib back on, and that goes back on there. You have your paint ready to touch up if you want to do little fine, fine details, eyeballs or whatever, works perfectly. Not only can you put the fillers in there, any of these paints can also be sprayed directly into the brush and you can have that as a pen as well. These are different caps. So they have uh, all different styles of caps. Again, the information's on our website, how they spray, the pressure that comes out of them. So if you don't want to do fine work or you need to do a, you know, wider, broader, denser work, there's a cap for every situation and we, we also sell them. And guys, there's even hand cleaners in a little sachet there. So it, there's nothing they haven't thought of. We've even got their gloves, their high quality gloves, perfect for not getting mess around the house. One thing I didn't mention, of course, these water-based paints are virtually odorless. You're not gonna be overwhelmed by fumes like you would with other paints. And again, check out the price of these. They are very, very competitive. They look expensive, I know. <laughs> the packaging is very, very nice. So the other thing we need to talk about is finishing. So you've done an amazing paint job, um, well, this is not amazing, but you've done a paint job anyway, and you want to protect it, okay? So we, we need a varnish. Now, not only do we sell the varnishes in the water base, so all the water base, we have the matte, uh, semi-gloss or satin and gloss in water base. Again, virtually odorless, so no problem there. And they're actually really good protection and, and a good finish. But you want to go something a little bit more, we've got this, the acrylic varnish. Totally transparent, totally clear. Again, it's in, in a gloss and a matte. This is really hard. It's clear. It doesn't go yellow over time. It's a really good varnish. And again, price competitive. It's a good, a really good solid paint. Now, 
this is the one that excites me. This one here, I've never heard of this before, uh, or this system before I should say. This is a 2K polyurethane paint. 2K, how does that work in a spray can? It's so simple. This little red cap comes off. You take it from the bottom. See this little thing here? You put that on the bottom like that, and then you just push down on it, and it pops a bag inside, and it mixes part A with part B, and you have a two-part polyurethane in a can. I didn't do it now because it only lasts three days, I think, in the can, but three days is not too bad. So obviously you get a few things together, uh, if you've got smaller parts and then you'd spray it. But it actually goes very far, this paint. You, you give a few coats of this and it's gonna be as hard as nails. Like it, it literally is really hard wearing. I've done some great work with this and really, really like it. It means you don't need to get spray guns out and all sorts of stuff. You can literally just pop the bag inside with a little cap and you've got a 2K amazing polyurethane paint. So that's really cool. When I first saw this, I thought this stuff was designed for us. I mean, it's actually so well suited to what we do in painting parts. I'm excited by these products because I know that the next stage of 3D printing has got to be the print finishing. You know, we need to turn these things that look like a 3D printed object into something that looks like, you know, we've bought it and people will not even be able to tell that it's 3D printed. We'll put a link below in the description so you can go to them on our website and check them out. We've also got a few things like the compressors and a few kits there as well, just a few simple things that if you want to get into this, uh, into the airbrushing you can, so check that out as well. But I think that's enough about this. We need to get into what we're here for and that's the announcement of the Monocom 8 competition. So without further ado, Let's get into it. They were all so good, it was really difficult to judge. We looked at the quality of the print, your creativity, and of course the paint job. Before we get into the winners, let me give a special mention of creativity to these entries. Check these out. Okay, it's time. In third place, with this incredible work of art, is Casey. Congratulations, you win $100 worth of monocash to spend in our web store. Second place goes to Illustrated Audio. Well done, I'm sure you'll be enjoying buying some of those new MTM paints with the $200 monocash that'll be coming your way. Okay, okay, I know the suspense is killing you. And the winner for Monocomp 8 is HRH Art and Design. You have won the mega prize pack valued at over $500. Thanks again to all of you who entered and to Ben Southwell, our talented ambassador who gave us his model to print. Without his support and help promoting this, would have been a lot less exciting. I know there's been a few announcements today, but I'm sure you can handle just one more our new competition, Monocomp 9, we will be giving away an MSLA printer. That's right, a printer and heaps of other cool prizes. Entry details and model download coming soon. Go to our website and check out our new Monocomp page. There you'll find all the information about past and future competitions. Also keep an eye on our social media feeds for other information. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now and remember to keep on 3D printing.